Yes. Jane set up a camping tent in the shape of a triangular prism showed below. The tent was made of canvas that only covered the sides. Calculate the total service area of the canvas that was used to make the tent. This is three marks. Very simple. Pay attention. Very simple. We said that mathematics uses a general formula called Ruiz. Ruiz means you read the question the way we have done, then you, under, uh, you understand, then you interpret before you start solving. So, pay attention, pay attention. We need to know that the material was touching the side. Yes, we have been told here. Uh, the material, that is the canvas, that only covered the sides. So this canvas material, which has made this tent, it has touched, it is not covering the ground. It is not touching the ground. So it is covering the sides. So we need to understand that. That is very important, okay? Yeah, before you start doing this. So we need to know the surface. So how many surfaces? Are we going to to calculate the total service area? How many services here? Yeah, we have the two landing. Let me show you. We have this side. Can you see it? It is measuring five meters. Five meters by this side. Remember that is a rectangle. It is five by seven meters. And they are two because you have told this is five meters and this is also five meters, so they are equal. So there is five meters here again, uh, by seven. So you can say times two. Then, after getting that service, after getting that surface, what should we do? We have another one here. Can you see this triangle which is formed here? Let me show you this triangle here, which is six. With an hypotenuse of 5. Can you see it? Yes. So we are going to calculate these triangles here. We have. So we have said we have two types. We have this shape. These two shapes. This one. And the other one also. And then after that. We have the triangles. And there are two of them. There is another one here. So these are the surfaces we are calculating. We are not calculating the. The rectangle formed at the bottom, which is measuring 6 by 7. No. Why? Because we have been told it covered the sides only. Covered what? The sides. So it was covered in this side and the other side and this surface and the other surface too. As simple as that. Now let us work out. So we want to know the area of this triangle. This triangle you see here. So let us introduce a perpendicular height. So let me pick my triangle here, down, and let me introduce the height there. That is perpendicular by sector, and it is also our perpendicular height. So the triangle will be here. This is 6. So divided by 2. 6 divided by 2? Yes, J? 3. So here is 3. So let me make a small triangle, which is a uh, right angled triangle like that, where this is 90 degrees. And then this is now from here to here, which is half of 6, yes, which is 3. So I put 3 there. And then I have the slanting height, this one, the slanting hypotenuse, this 5. So I have that. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, I want to get the, the perpendicular height. Because when you get the height, we can be able now to calculate the area of this triangle. So what are we going to do? This is Pythagoras' theorem. So Pythagoras says, five, that is h squared, h squared equals to this three, I will start with five. 
5 squared minus 3 squared. So let us work out here. So our h squared will be equal to 5 squared is 25, yeah. 25 minus 3 squared, 3 times 3, 9. Minus 9 like that. So 25 minus 9, 16. So you write 16. So our h squared equals to 16. So what is h? Say square root. Square root. Square root. So our h is 4. Very simple. So this is, our h here is 4. Now remember, area of a triangle equals to, let's come here, area of a triangle equals to half base times height. And we know the height is, is 4 and the base is 6. So let us calculate that area. And remember there are two, we have this area and another one here. So this is half times 6 times 4. By 2, 1, by 2, 3. 3 times 4, 12. 12. And there are two of them. So 12 times 2 because of this side and this one now. So 12 times 2, we get 24. So we have 24. And then we come back to the rectangles. 5 times 7, that 5 times 2, 70. So you add 70 here. So just add 70. You get 4. This is 9. So the answer should be 94 meter squared. Very simple. <laughs> Do for me this. If this was the tent, calculate for me and let me know the answer in the comments. Bye.